Hello all, welcome to the new video of signals and systems. In this video we will see time domain representation of narrow band signal. Narrow band FM signal. So before going into that, uh, let's uh, recap what we have studied in the previous videos. So we have learned that how a FM signal looks like. So this is a general equation for frequency modulated wave. This is 2 pi of CP plus 2 pi into K integral of 0 to P M of P. So this is a equation for FM wave, any FM wave. And then for single tone modulation what happens? Single tone modulation that is when modulation uh, modulating signal is of single frequency our S of T that is S of T will look like this AC cos 2 pi of CP plus 2 pi into KF 0 to P AM cos 2 pi FM T so what we have done for single tone we have uh, replaced m of t with this value as you can see the modulating signal is of single frequency fm so this is a general equation uh, you see cos 2 pi of ct plus 2 pi k of this will become am Integral of cos is sine 2 pi of mt. So we can uh, even after applying limits, this will be a value. Okay. So after that, we need to divide it by 2 pi fm. Okay. So this is how our time domain representation of FM signal looks like for single tone modulation. So this value here KF AM upon FM is called as beta. So this is the time domain representation of FM signal where S of T is equal to AC cos 2 pi FCT plus beta times sin 2 pi FM into T. So this beta is nothing but uh, KF into AM upon FM which we have seen in the previous equation. So this can also be represented as delta F upon FM. So this is a general FM signal equation in time domain. If you just replace the time what happens in that time instant if you plot this equation in a MATLAB or something you can get the FM wave. Also, what happens is based on this value of beta, we classify, we further classify this FM signal into two types. So, those two types are one is narrow band FM signal, another is wide band frequency modulated signal. So this classification is based on the value of beta. If beta is small, that is compared to one radian, then it is called as narrow band FM signal and if beta is large compared to one radian, then it is called as wide band FM signal. So whenever in signals and systems theory, we refer to a word called band, it refers to bandwidth. So in, the, in our case, the narrow band FM has narrow bandwidth, okay, while wide band FM has large bandwidth. Large bandwidth. This is small and big. Okay, so each of these signals behave differently based on the value of beta. 
that is in frequency domain uh, you get to know that uh, both the signals are quite different in nature so uh, narrow band fm is it looks almost close to am it also has a uh, same bandwidth as amplitude modulated signal so in our in this video i uh, will only concentrate on narrow band fm signal so first we'll derive uh, the time domain representation of the signal then uh, we can analyze what uh, how it looks like so uh, in uh, coming to wide band fm uh, we'll discuss this in the next uh, coming videos so in uh, in this video our objective is to find the time domain representation of fm narrow band fm signal so this will be a basis okay this will be a basis for our today's video so let's see how to do that and uh, we'll uh, we need to apply some trigonometric uh, identities and then we can arrive at the final value of narrow band fm signal representation in time domain so we have a, a time domain representation of uh, fm signal that is ac cos 2 pi fct plus beta sin 2 pi fm t so uh, let's use the uh, identity cos a plus b cos a plus b which is cos a into cos b minus sin a into sin b so here a is equal to 2 pi fct and b is equal to beta times sin 2 pi fm t so this s of t becomes ac this is cos 2 pi fct and the cos beta of sin 2 pi fm t minus sin 2 pi fct into sin of here beta again sin 2 pi fm into t okay this is the same term here and for narrow band signals we have beta is much much lesser than 1 so at that time this cos value becomes so this product beta into sin 2 pi fm t will be very much much lesser than 1 so this we can approximate it as 1 and coming to this sin of beta times sin 2 pi fm t this we can approximate as beta times sin 2 pi fm into t so what we'll do in this equation we'll replace this cos of beta times sin 2 pi fm t with 1 and this sin of beta times sin 2 pi fm t with beta into sin 2 pi fm into t so we will rewrite that uh, as of t equation so we will write here only So S of t becomes AC cos 2 pi fct minus beta into AC. Okay, this AC it will go here. Beta AC and then product of sine 2 pi fct into sine 2 pi fm into t. So this is the equation. So again, we need to expand this sine two pi f c t into sine two pi f m t. That is product of this using the trigonometric identity to get the final time domain representation of narrow band f m signal. So we have a time domain representation of narrow band f m as a c cos two pi f c t minus beta times a c. And sin 2 pi fct into sin 2 pi fm into t. So we'll use this trigonometric identity that is sin a into sin b is 1 by 
cos a minus b minus cos a plus b for this equation. So at that time what it becomes? This of t a c cos 2 pi f c t minus beta into a c. So this product is 1 by 2. Okay. Uh, we can take minus here that is first we can take this term that time what to become cos 2 pi fc plus fm minus cos 2 pi fc minus fm into t so This is the equation, okay? So, which will become AC cos 2 pi FC T minus into minus is plus beta times AC by 2 cos 2 pi FC plus FM into T minus beta AC by 2 cos 2 pi fc minus fm into t. So this is the equation for narrow band fm. So this is the final equation. It is very similar to amplitude modulation except this is for this time change okay as you can see here uh, if you replace beta with mu and uh, replace this minus with plus sign this is the equation for amplitude modulated wave for single tone modulation okay and remember that uh, this beta is defined for single tone modulation in our case so based on that only we have arrived to this final equation. So as you can see uh, this is very similar to AM wave except for the fact that there is a minus sign here for the LSP. This is USB. So this narrow band FM wave contains a carrier in two side bands is fc plus fm and fc minus fm so uh, please use the uh, comment section for any doubts uh, in deriving the narrow band fm signal equation that is time domain representation of narrow band fm uh, thanks a lot for watching please subscribe uh, in the next video we will uh, see about uh, the wide band frequency modulated signal uh, thank you.